So one of the things you've got to do in your A-level maths exam is to be able to derive this formula the sum, which finds the sum of any arithmetic series. It goes like this, Sn equals n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1d. So we talked about using this formula before, so hopefully it's not news to you. Um, uh, but how do you go about doing it? Well, I should say before I made this video, I made another video which does the same thing but just with plain numbers. So I suggest you watch that video first because um, it's a little easier with plain numbers and hopefully you understand it better. And if you understand it, you don't have to memorize because I hate memorizing. Um, but I say, having said that, it's still pretty easy to understand the principle I'm going to show you right now. So how do we get this formula? How do we derive this formula? Well, we begin with just defining what does it mean to have the sum of n terms of an arithmetic series. So Sn just means the sum of n terms of an arithmetic series um, is equal to, well, the first term, which uh, is A, the standard letter we use for the first term in arithmetic series. And then the second term is A plus D, because arithmetic series um, have a common difference. They go up by a common difference, and the D is a standard letter again we use for common difference. So the first term is A, the second term is A plus D because we go up by D, the third term is A plus 2D because we go up by D again. So whatever we had over there, add another D, so now we've got two Ds, and then it goes A plus 3D, A plus 4D, etc., until we get to the nth term, which is A plus N minus 1D. The reason why n minus 1 d is because the number of d's in the term is always one less than the position. So this was the third term, first, second, third term, and that had two d's, and the second term had only one d. So you can see that you always uh, 1d behind the position number. So the position number on the nth term is n, so the number of d's you have is n minus 1 d's. Okay. So that is just laying out what an arithmetic series looks like. And if we want to sum them up, we add them like we've written here. Um, so the trick to summing this all up and finding out what this all equals to in a nice tidy formula like this is this. You simply write it backwards. Okay, so I've written it forward here, a and then a plus d, a plus 2d, all the way to a plus n minus 1d. So writing it backwards means you start with a plus n minus 1d and end up with a at the end, the first term. And then what you do, once you put it backwards, is you add all this stuff up. Okay, now if you add all this stuff up, i.e. a plus a plus d, a plus 2d, all the way to a plus n minus 1d, and then all of the stuff uh, backwards as well, all together, so that basically you have twice the sum of n terms, like it says here, what happens? Well, actually, if you add the opposite pairs, you get the same result every single time. So a plus a plus n minus 1d Basically, well, adding these two a's gives you two a's, and then you've got this n minus 1 d's. And if you do the same with all the other pairs, you get the same result. So this one over here has got the same result. So these two a's makes two a's, and n minus 1 d goes there. And the rest will be the same because if these two add up to make a certain result, um, if the next pair, well, this top bit will be d higher and the next bit over there will be d lower because the term before had one less d and the, t the term of after and after this term here has one more d so overall there's going to be no, no difference and so you're going to have the same result so you're going to have a, 2a plus n minus 1d again and again and again for every pair that you add up and then we add up all those pairs so effectively we've effectively we've added up all the pairs, all the numbers in here by adding them up in pairs and then adding up those pairs together. 
Okay, so basically you've got 2a plus n minus 1d n times because we've got n pairs of numbers. So uh, you can write it like this, n times 2a plus n minus 1d. So the trick by by uh, flipping it backwards and then adding up the pairs, you've made it all really simple. You've got 2a plus n minus 1d n times. So now we can say in a very neat short way that twice the sum of n terms, because we've added up all uh, twice what we wanted, um, is equal to n times 2a plus n minus 1d. And so, if you simply want the sum of n terms, we get half of that. So we halve uh, the n, and that will uh, reduce the value of this whole expression by 2, and you get the answer. So Sn equals n over 2 times uh, 2a plus n minus 1d. Now, I suppose uh, if you wanted to get this other formula here, uh, which we talked about in an earlier video, Sn equals n over 2a plus l, basically the sa it's the same thing as this uh, formula here, except for it uses the last term. All you have to do is replace this a plus n minus 1d with l, because l represents the last term, and this is the last term. So replace that with an L, replace that with an L, and when you add up the pairs, you're going to get A plus L, A plus L, lots of times. How many times? N times. So then you follow it through. So you're going to have N times A plus L and divide it by 2, and then you get this formula here. Uh, if you want to directly get... Um, this formula from this formula. I've talked about this uh, that in an earlier video um, when I first introduced this formula there.